All right, what's up guys? This is Tyler with TNT Gaming back with a video here, quick tutorial on how to do an automatic lights in Rust Console Edition. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video. We're going to be doing base giveaways every week. We meant to do, meant to do one a couple weeks ago. We just got offline. And last week was wife. So hopefully we're doing one this Monday. So if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Put your, put your uh, gamer tag or your PlayStation ID in the comments. We're going to do a giveaway for a fully loaded base. Uh, full metal kits, turrets, everything. Probably four four TCs is what we usually do. So uh, for this automatic lights, what you're gonna need is a small rechargeable battery, large solar panel, electrical branch, a blocker, and then your lights and your uh, wire tool. So you want to put the lights on the roof or the uh, solar panel on the roof. And in my experience with uh, Rust console it seems like if you place it south pretty consistent you get plenty of light just make sure you don't put anything you don't put it behind anything that can put shade on it so if you have wind turbines if you have other stuff on your roof put it somewhere where it's not going to have shade being cast on the solar panel if you do it will trick the system into thinking it's night and your lights will be coming on and off during the day so all you're going to do is you place your solar panel, you're going to go down to wherever you're putting your battery, and you're going to place your battery, and then you're going to need an electrical branch and a blocker. So we'll place our battery down, and place our electrical branch above that, and the blocker above that as well, just next to it. We're going to come up here, go to the power out on the solar panel. I usually just do green for power. All you have to do is hold RB, change the... Uh, color of the wire if you didn't know. All right, so we're going to come up here and we're going to go from that to power in on the electrical branch. Then the, the branch out, we're just going to leave it stock at the two. You can configure it and change it. We're not going to. The branch out's going to go right to the blocker. And then the rest of the power is going to go into the battery. And then for power out, we're going to go into the blocker. So now what's going to happen is during the day, this system is going to be bringing in 17 power to the battery. It's going to be going out, but since the since this is getting power, it's also blocking. It's also sending two power to the blocker, which is blocking this signal. So nothing's going to come out of the blocker until this signal stops. So now all we have to do is get our lights, put them wherever you want them. blue out of the for the lights we're gonna go power out and we'll just go into the lights now the lights you can daisy chain so it's just a pass through so power in power out as long as you have enough power you can just keep going that way so we'll pass through to each light and that is it Got all your lights now I've only ever done four lights on this system you might be able to do more. I've just never tested it. Four seems to always be plenty. Uh, you just, with four, you, you know, or I know, that I'm going to get enough power into the battery to power the lights during the night and sustain it when it's not getting any power. And then the battery recharges during the day. And then you have enough power again each night to uh, power the lights all night. I'll go ahead and time lapse this and I'll fast forward the video so you can see the lights come on at night and go off the next morning. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. We'll do a base giveaway on hopefully Monday, as long as we don't get offline, and give it to one of you guys. Also, we'll be doing a, we'll be doing a video of the wipe. Hopefully, we'll put, up, put, up, put one of those up maybe next week. Appreciate it. Thanks.